Okay, let's go, let's go over gold. Okay, this is the breakdown we called this morning. We just had a beautiful trade on gold. What I noticed here is this. We have certain patterns we look in the market. This is a broad-based descending triangle. We had two flat bottoms right here, two flat bottoms, double bottom, and I had three lower highs, three lower highs. I told traders, look for a break and a huge move in gold if we break through the double bottom. Look for the first Fibonacci retracement when you break through LVA. Look what we got. This is how you trade it. We just did a video on how to trade a flat market. Look at the previous video on gold. I told traders, you sell the high, you buy the low on gold. But watch it break the low value area because we're in a descending triangle, which is a negative, negative um, formation. And if we break the double bottom, the 73 and a half to 74, I said, look for the first Fibonacci retracement. We should see a nice big trade. Sure enough, we broke the double bottom off the low value area on volume profile and check out the retracement over here. We broke right through the low value area. There's your first retracement short. Here's your ABC short break. Retest and look at that trade. We knew it would be a big possible trade. Target 67 all the way down, 73 and a half short. Why? Because we're in a descending triangle and it just caught all these wrongly positioned traders that are trying to catch a triple bottom. I can't tell you how many times I've read books and seen traders in different trade rooms that trade triple bottoms. I would never trade a triple bottom ever. I look for a break retest on the triple bottom. I'm smarter than that. I'm more knowledgeable than these novice traders about trading triple bottoms. Triple bottoms fail. I've seen hundreds if not thousands of trades fail at triple bottoms. So I'm more educated than some of these traders. I know that if I break a double bottom, I retest that double bottom and I look for a big move in the market and we just nail it. Good job guys and gals. A lot of you guys got on top of that. Gerald, move over to uh, uh, crude. Let's look at crude. Crude, what did I say on crude? I'm going to show you what a brick wall is. The crude's high and low has been on a brick wall. If I look at this chart right here and I look at a brick, what a brick wall is, we can trade brick walls because brick walls are great for all markets. What is a brick wall? Look at crude. Why is crude going in between the, the high and low? How did the high get established? How did the low? Not by a moving average, not by a stochastic, not by a moving average covariance divergence, not by any lagging indicators, not by predictive software, not by an Elliott wave, none of that stuff. What happened was you had three market profiles that stacked on top at the high, and you had three market profiles stacked at the low. Now price is down here right on this, and we talked about this this morning. Price is exactly sitting right here at 45.50. I said this is a very critical level because it's a brick wall. What is a brick wall? You can literally buy and sell right into a brick wall and put your stop two ticks above that swing high and swing low, and you have a chance at a five to six tick stop on a potential four to five hundred dollar trade, sometimes six hundred bucks. How do we do it? When we're down at this critical level right here, I was telling traders we are at a brick. What's a brick? A brick is composed of three market profiles. I only have three market profiles on my system. There are volume which are the solid green, blue, and red levels. That's volume profile. Then I have price profile. I have these small little dots right here. That's price. That's my longer term price. And I have these other green dots that are price profile also. So if they stack within two ticks of each other, two to three ticks, you have what's called a brick wall. I have, that's called price and volume profile in the black chart. The dots are price profile. The volume profiles of solid lines. I go over to my white chart. I have developing profile also. What developing profile is, it profiles the market as it's ticking. So what I want to do on developing profile is I'm going to see where it's at also. At the time when price was exactly at this low, and we're talking about this level, price is exactly at this low, my developing profile, LVA, was exactly what? At 50. So now I got developing profile at 50. Let's go over to my volume profile. Look out sitting right at 45, 50 to 51. That's two times set. Then look at my price profile, which are the dots. I'm at 53. So now I'm between 50 to 53, and I got four market profiles that stack on top of each other. They're within two to three ticks of each other, all four. 
That's called a brick wall. So how can you trade that? We can trade that by, by letting the market come down. If it's the first test of brick wall, letting it come down. If I hit 50 and I'm inside that brick wall within a couple ticks, you can enter the order exactly right into the push of 50. You don't even need a reversal bar, market delta, or market profile if it's a brick first test. Then you can place your stop two ticks below the swing low. Right after I get one momentum bar, one green momentum bar, a pulling bar right here, you can put your stop two ticks below that swing low. So in other words, you can enter at 50, the low is 48, 48 minus two is your stop. Your stop's at 46. 46 and 51, you have a five, five tick stop on this trade, 50 to 85, just on that trade, $350 trade per one contract, you risk 50 bucks. You can do that on brick walls. Let's look at the high. The high was a brick wall. The high up here was a brick wall. How do you do it? The first red, red bar reversal right there, you could sell right or sell right into 90. So I had 90 HDA, 95, I had 90, 88, 90 right there, 88, 90 and price profile, three times stacked area. HDA, HDA, even symmetry dots, it's actually four times stacked. You could sell right into it. The first red bar reversal, sell right into 90, your fill's 90, 91, 89. First red bar reversal, put your stop two ticks above the swing high, two ticks above the swing. 92 plus two is 94. Your stop's at 94. Here's your stops on the outer edges. Look, there was your stop up here on the short. Here's your stop here on the buy. Both were a six and a five tick stop. And both were brick walls. Brick walls on all markets. Look at that. Do you think it's just by chance? Do you think it's just dumb luck that it stopped right on my brick wall profile and went down? Right on my brick wall profile and went up. It's called major support and resistance because what's happening is it's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. These are calculated three different calculations. Price profile has been around for 32 years since 1985. Volume profile has been around since 1994. Developing profile has been a little bit after it's been around uh, almost 14 years. So you have three profiles that are totally calculated differently, totally calculated, totally differently. And they all coincide within two to three ticks. What does that create? It creates opportunity. It creates opportunity in all markets to look for a major reversal. So now let's look at the broad picture on crude. Crude, we have only a couple formations in the room I like to look at. I like to look at symmetrical wedges. I look at, like to look at uh, uh, rising wedges, which are bearish, falling wedges, which are bullish. I look at bull and bear flags, which only happen during Fed meetings typically. Or when the market's hot, they don't very they rarely come up. And then I like to look at ascending and descending triangles. So that's all I like to look at. And we see in the crude oil inventory is a big hit down. So what do we look at? We're looking at a symmetrical wedge right now. What does that tell us? It tells me if I get below on the broad picture here of 4530, if I get below there Monday or Tuesday and I break retest, you may have yourself a hundred, 150 tick setup. Because if I take this swing high from 48.40 and this swing low from 48.45.40, right, I got a real big chance of a huge continuation pattern early next week if I break through this low of 45.30. So yeah, you can take the bounce on the brick wall right here, but we're not going to see really a big runner in, in, in crude until I get outside of this trend line. This trend line is connected from the highs. Show my connected from the highs. I got to get outside of 45, 45.90, or I got to get outside of 45.30 to break the symmetrical wedge. But that's just a beautiful trade off the brick. Brick wall traders right there at the low. Look at the market respond. Look at the resp market respond on my brick wall on the upside. Brick walls comes comprise of three market profiles. Volume is the most important. That's a big green, red, and blue. Price profile on my dots. And developing profiles on my white chart. If they all three come within a couple ticks of each other, I don't care if you trade. What market you trade? S&P 500, 400, NASDAQ futures, Russell 2000. I don't care what you trade. Soybeans, corn, copper, Australian, the Australian dollar. You can trade the New Zealand. I don't care what you look at. You can trade the dollar. You can trade the euro. I don't care what you look at. It's the same exact way on all markets. It's called a brick wall.